Hey folks, welcome back. Sadly, this video is not the publication of my results from the Cavendish experiment. I, uh, I ran into a snag and it's gonna delay things uh, for a while, at least. So, uh, you know, basically here's, here's the problem. I was looking for my torsion balance as it's oscillating without the masses nearby to do something like this. Little teeny tiny oscillations. And what in fact I saw on this was little teeny tiny oscillations and then just crazy high levels of oscillation all at once, no matter what I did. So I think what's going on here, I have this whole thing sealed, but it's sealed in this flexible polyethylene plastic. Uh, so I figured with the garage door closed and sealed and nobody coming in and out of the garage, that that should be enough to insulate it from any little air currents in the room. What actually is happening, though, I think, is that the air currents are just bigger than I expected, and I can't seem to get to a steady temperature in here either. The floor is fluctuating in temperature quite a bit, no matter when I do this. So I have just hours and hours of time-lapse video uh, where I think everything is set up well on this and the, um, you know, the lever will be nice and still as far as I can see visually and then all at once it starts moving erratically. In fact, I'm trying to strike this uh, tricky balance. Uh, obviously, I want an experiment that will give me meaningful results. Um, but I also need it to be something that is uh, visible, um, something that will work for YouTube. Um, so that's challenging enough. And then to complicate it even further, trying to avoid breaking the bank, and I'm a teacher, so that's easy to do. Uh, so I'm using a lot of uh, you know, reclaimed materials, things that are not ideal. You might notice the clock will occasionally stop in this video clip. Uh, that's a Goodwill purchase. Who's donating a broken clock to Goodwill? Ugh. Uh, I've also got concrete blocks and uh, steel weights, like um, bar dumbbell weights um, for, for the materials. Uh, and really, those aren't ideal either. It'd be better to have something um, quite a bit denser. So I end up with, uh, with having to make the string a little bit more sensitive than I really wanted to, um, which means that it's just too sensitive um, for all the variables that are in play. So I never even got to the data collection phase. It's been, I think, three months that I've been um, fiddling with the fully constructed version of this, just trying to get it steady. Um, so I, uh, I think the next step on this needs to be an enclosure with rigid walls. Sadly, it's, it's getting chilly here and uh, the cars are out in the driveway all the time now. And, well, my wife's not too pleased with that situation, and so it's time to put this on hold. I think next summer, I'm gonna take another crack at it with some rigid walls and maybe find an environment that doesn't uh, cause such a big inconvenience for my family here. Uh, most everything here is salvageable. The big protractor that I built should be reusable for the next time. The uh, mechanism for rotating the big weights, I think, will be reusable. That'll also give me a chance to see if I can scrap some um, some lead to use. The concrete, you know, is, is heavy, but it's not super dense, so it takes up a lot of space. Uh, and since the distance between the the weights matters so much here, uh, you know, that'll be that'll be important. So uh, getting something really dense like lead would probably lead to a better result. I think ultimately on this, I I built it so that it's probably sensitive enough to measure the small change that we needed to measure and unfortunately we were getting some pretty big um, variables in here that, that I wasn't able to control for. So bummer. Uh, I've been totally focused on this. All of my, uh, my YouTube time has been focused on this one project for a long time which is really frustrating. Uh, sadly, that, that is how science works sometimes. We end up at some point having to admit that, uh, hey, this experiment, the way that I set it up, is not getting me the results I need and I need to make a change. And in this case, the change is not gonna happen for a while. So uh, I'd, I'd rather do this, though, than uh, you know, publish 
shoddy results on this. Um, you know, going back to my old videos, I'm really not happy with how those ones turned out. And um, you know, looking at those, it really does make me think that yeah, I was probably seeing an effect other than just gravitational influences in those videos. And I don't want to put out another one that uh, that has those same issues. So I'm going to put it on hold for now. I do have some uh, ideas in the works, some longer term videos that I've been working on. Strangely, most of them seem to be focused around the bathroom. Uh, so I'm not really sure why that is, but uh, I got a few uh, sort of physics you can use videos on the way. Um, so I'll try and keep those, uh, get those published in the near future. And I figured I'd include the uh, dismantling video. First, I took things apart pretty carefully for the parts that I was gonna salvage, but uh, yeah, that wasn't all that much fun, so I figured, why not get out the chainsaw? When in doubt, use a chainsaw. You know, probably could have taken apart the frame carefully, but the chainsaw is kind of cathartic. Also, check these out. A lot of the summer I was uh, being boring out in the garage. Daughter would come out and color on the, on the boards and keep me company. It's pretty sweet, right? Yeah. All right. Until next time, YouTube.